my sister here is going to blindfold me so that I can choose one random candy recipe. I'm so excited. Hello! <laughs> okay, I can see. <laughs> I feel like you can see! Oh. Caramels. I'm very excited. I love sea salt caramels. Okay, guys. So, so here are all my ingredients and equipment that I'm going to use for these sea salt caramels. For the actual caramel part, we are going to need salt, corn syrup, brown sugar, sweetened condensed milk, a cup of butter, which is two sticks, and some vanilla extract. Um, we are going to dip these caramels in chocolate, so here is a little more than a pound of chocolate, that's five, three and a half ounce chocolate bars, and I'm using milk chocolate, but you can use dark chocolate if you like, and to melt the chocolate in, we're going to need a bowl to dip it. Then, the other equipment you'll need is a candy thermometer, candy thermometers, this one goes up to 300, no, 400 degrees, and this is an 8x8 eight eight square pan that's 2 inches deep, and some parchment paper, and you want to use parchment paper, not wax paper, because parchment, because wax paper will put the wax on your caramel, and we don't want wax on our caramels, do we? That's disgusting. Ugh. So, now, we're going to start cooking the caramel. So the first thing we have to do is to line our pan with the parchment paper so that the caramel doesn't stick to the pan and it's hard to get out and then it just becomes a big ball of stuff. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our parchment paper and put it over the sides that don't have these little curved edges, these things, and we just let it hang over the other flat sides. And if your parchment roll is too wide, you can cut it down. I had to. And so then, and if it doesn't uh, sink down into the parchment, like you have to force it down and then it just pops back up like it just did there, it's okay because when you pour in the caramel, the, pan will, the parchment paper will just go down because of the weight of the caramel. So that is how you line a pan, and now we can really get started on cooking our caramel. One of the first things we need to do is to test our thermometer um, so that we make sure that our caramel has an accurate temperature reading. So here I have a, a bowl of boiling water and I'm going to insert my thermometer. Now you want to make sure that the, the, um, the mercury at the bottom of the thermometer does not touch the bottom of the bowl because the bottom of the bowl can be hotter than the water that's actually in it. And uh, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is converted to Celsius if you use Celsius degrees. So um, here, this is reading a very, it's reading about 190 degrees Fahrenheit. I am not sure why it is doing that. But since my thermometer is off, um, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to cook um, my caramel to a lower temperature than it is actually red because this is a very off thermometer. I don't know what is going on with you today. Um, so I'm gonna do the math in my head. Hold on. Because we're supposed to cook it to 248. 212. 22 degrees. So 48 minus 22 is 26. So I have to 
cook the caramel to 226 degrees on this thermometer. This thermometer will be 226 degrees when my caramel is ready. But if your thermometer is very accurate, then you must cook it to 248 degrees. Now let's get started making the caramel. Turn the heat on your stove to medium heat and put one cup of butter in your saucepan. Let it melt. Then add two and a quarter cups of light brown sugar, one cup of light corn syrup, a pinch of salt, and one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Then stir the mixture until all the ingredients are evenly combined. Insert your thermometer and stir the caramel until it's 248 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 degrees Celsius. Then take the stove off the heat, turn off the heat and wait for the bubbling to subside. After it's subsided, pour in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and stir the vanilla extract in. Then pour it into a pan and let it set for several hours. Now our caramel has set and we are going to lift it out of the parchment, out of the pan. So what you are going to do is you take a knife, you're going to cut along the edges of the sides of the pan to get that caramel off the pan. So cut along the sides that the parchment paper is not on. So I'm just going to lift it up. It's stuck in there. Okay. Now the caramel is out. Peel. It's going to be tricky. Peeling this off the parchment paper. There. So now our caramel is set and we are going to cut it into little cubes. Okay, so now I have unwrapped five of my chocolate bars and um, this recipe calls for a pound of chocolate. So these each are three and a half ounces and a pound is 16 ounces. So five bars makes a little more than a pound. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna chop your chocolate into chunks. Tough. Chop your chocolate into chunks. This chocolate is cut into squares for me. And I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna cut each square in half so that it's so that it's nice and small chunks. And you just keep cutting until you have all your chocolate cut. Okay, so now that I've chopped all my chocolate, what you're gonna do is just lay it out like that, sort of. And then we need three quarters of the chocolate to melt. So I'm gonna cut it in half and then push that aside. So I'm going to take this half and cut that in half. So, okay, so this stuff is going to be melted. Do is take your dish and just put all the chocolate in there. But you're going to you're going to leave the quarter of the chocolate that you took out. You're going to leave that aside. You're not going to melt that. Because what we have to do, we have to temper the chocolate, which means getting it to the right temperature. And tempering requires seeding. Put your chocolate in the microwave on high for 20 seconds. Do it again. Then stir it. Keep repeating this process for 20 seconds at a time and keep stirring until it, your chocolate is completely melted. All right, so now that our chocolate is melted, we are going to start the tempering. What you have to do is take all your unmelted pieces of chocolate and put them in the pot that, or the pan or the dish that you are doing. Then stir them in and insert your thermometer. Your milk, milk chocolate should reach up to 86 degrees, which is exactly what this thermometer is reading. 
So what I'm going to do is tap the thermometer, and then you have to take out all the little chunks. Now it is time to dip your caramels. So put a caramel piece on your fork, and then just dip it in the chocolate, swirl it around so that it's completely covered. Then take the caramel and slide it onto a peach piece of parchment paper and let it set. So now here are our finished car sea salt caramels. I have a batch here that is with sea salt and I have a batch here that has little toffee sprinkles on it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my mom and my sister taste these for the very first time. So now let's do a taste test. How it's gonna work. You guys are going to both taste it at the same time. And which one of you wants to try the toffee and which one of you wants to try the sea salt? I'll try the sea salt. I'll try the toffee. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you guys can pick one up. And then you just say what you rank it. Five is the highest and one is the lowest. Mm. Okay, I give it. Five. I think I'll get a five too. Okay, thank you very much. So, um, I'm gonna be doing another Crazy Candy Creations video next weekend. So keep your eye out for it. Please comment, like, and subscribe to me. Bye, guys. Say bye, guys. Bye. Bye.